Do you want to know why you're having a hard time making sales right now? It's not because of the market. I promise you. It's not even because of the rate. It's not because of the fees. It's not because of your reputation or how new you are or how old you are or how intermediate you are. What those do represent though, all those excuses that I just listed off is just that. They're excuses. They're excuses that you could possibly be anchoring onto as the reason. But I'm going to shed some light with you in this video. I'm going to help you increase your sales this week, I promise. Pay attention to these ver to these three steps or these three tips, these three techniques, whatever you want to call them, and implement them into your daily habits, and I promise you, you're going to notice a difference. And when you notice a difference, you're going to learn how to build onto these three main principles, these three concepts that I'm going to give to you for free in this video. So if you want to know why you're losing sales, if you want to know why your consumers are going ghost on you, and if you want to know why you feel so frustrated right now, you're coming to YouTube for sales techniques, follow this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And on this episode, as I just mentioned, I'm going to give you three principles of increasing your sales just this week. These three principles should be implemented into your sales process and it should be a permanent part of the foundation of your sales process because these three principles are, are ultimately some major ingredients that represent the core of being a master salesman. You see, I believe that there is a type of master salesman and it's, it's beyond a closer, right? It's beyond the, the primary image of what we perceive as someone who's a booker, right? And what I think a closer is, is someone who's just out for themselves. They're out to charge the highest fee so that they can get praise from other people. The reason why I believe a master salesman is beyond a closer is because a closer typically acts for the exception of others, pr pretty much their circle. And so these are the persons that wear the Gotti watches, that got the $900 t-shirt, and that's cool and all, but they just, they operate from a point of lust, from a point of greed and envy. And I believe the master salesman is someone who's more or less focused on their path and building their path and their career and providing for theirs. And so if you want to be a master salesman, I have a ton of video content that's going to teach you the, the real concept of becoming a salesman. You see, there's, there's a lot of, uh, uh, I, I would say, representation of sales from these old personalities and these old memes and these old movies you know like the boiler rooms or the Glen Gary and Glen Ross when in all reality sales is is a part of all of our lives even people who don't do sales for a profession and so these three concepts these three principles can be applied to just life in general it doesn't even need to be applied to just you you know you your your career you can actually use this in your own personal life to gain traction success and put you in the direction that you're trying to go so let's get down to those three principles number one is I believe that currently right now the reason why you're losing a lot of sales is because you're selling by way of suggestion now there are two forms of suggestion there's suggestion and then there's auto suggestion Think of auto suggestion as your gut feeling. It's it's your it's that internal feeling that you get, and uh, you know to put it in an example, an auto suggestion is that feeling you get when you salivate over food, or when you when you feel you know excited because you see someone attractive. It's the auto suggestion. It just happens, right? And the reason why I say it's internal is because it's only you actually feeling that. It's it's your chemistry. And I believe that every sale can have one of two of those suggestions. It can have both, actually. You see, the reason why you may be losing a lot of sales is because when you sell through suggestion, you basically sell through logic. You're selling to their, you're selling to their reason, right? And so, for example, let me give you, let me let me paint the picture for you. When a prospect calls you, they're suggesting that they want a lower rate. But their auto suggestion is actually applied to their cash flow, their monthly surplus, the expenditures that they need the lower rate for. And so their suggestion is that they want a lower rate and lower fees or no fees at all. 
but the auto suggestion that motivated that suggestion in itself is because they're looking to offset the increase in the cost of living. And so as a consumer, because they're not like you and I, the only, the only way that they can conceive the savings being generated through a refinance or through a mortgage is by way of lowering the rate. Does that make sense? And so imagine if you didn't understand all the things that you understand today, you would you believe the same. Like, okay, well, I need to lower, lower my payment. The only way I can lower my payment is if I either finance a smaller amount or I lower the rate. And see, when we sell through suggestion, we're only selling based off logic. We're selling based on numbers. And this is why you're losing a lot of your pitches to the rate objection or the fee objection is because you have not sold by way of auto suggestion. And so a good way or a good example to sell by auto suggestion is, is by pre-framing. So in other words, you're actually pre-framing the sale to be in need of your service, not your fee, not your rate, not your cost, but in need of the solution that you paint. So you always have to understand that when you're selling somebody, you are using their imagination to paint a picture that ultimately auto-suggests the need for your solution. Because if you are able to create the need for the solution that you paint, you've thus created motive and that's how you make them take action. And so, again, the, the way to use auto-suggestion is by is by say suggesting right like saying hey you know I notice a, a few comments from the credit bureaus are mentioning that your credit card balances to your high debt ratios or your high credit limit is too high and I noticed that the debt to income ratio right and th you're not using fancy lingo like that but you could say it in the words like I've noticed that your gross income just your gross not including your net your cost of living, just your expenses. I don't see your groceries. I don't see what your gas bill is. I don't see what your, you know, your your um, uh, insurance cost is or babysitter cost is. And you mentioned you got kids, but I do notice what's on your credit report, and just the cost of that represents 50% of your gross. So I imagine you're paying taxes. I would only hope that you have some sort of 401k contribution. And so it's actually representing more of your actual income. It represents more of your net income. And so if you're looking to free up surplus, this is what I can do, right? And so you've just applied to their auto suggestion. You've actually narrowed down the focus of solution and sold to their emotion. You see, besides auto suggestion and suggestion, number two, and this is another reason why I believe a lot of salespeople are not making sales is because they're selling through logic. You know, you everyone understands that, or you need to understand, that when you buy something, you're buying from a, a place of feeling, right? And think about that because you're not necessarily buying from a place of, of price, not all the time. And I want you to think about the, maybe if you've been to like an amusement park or you've been to literally just anywhere in general and uh, you were really thirsty, right? And you had to buy water. You see, you had an option to just drink tap water or you had an option to, you know, uh, not buy water, but you did. And so, so let, let's use Disneyland for an example because I want to put this in perspective. You know, in Disneyland, in order to buy water, you need to spend $5 to buy water. But see, you're not thinking based off price or, or, or uh, frugality. You're just, you're, you're basing your decision from motive through a feeling. And that feeling is being parched, is being thirsty. And so the, the reason why I believe selling from a feel, from, to the feeling uh, stance from a prospect is because feeling is the most powerful emotion. If you think about it, desire, uh, 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 motive, and influence, it can come from various types of feelings. Sex, um, hunger, fear, love. And these are all powerful feelings that influence us to take actions, the, the same exact actions that we act upon every single day. Like the reason why you may be in sales right now is because you're acting based on the desire of financial freedom, based on the desire of more income. But when you when you peel back the layer of that onion, you're gonna find that you actually are in sales not only because of the financial freedom, just but because of status. Does that make sense? Your status, it's it's pride, it's love, maybe. 
Like you need to provide for your family, you need to represent for your family. And so when we understand that, that selling, and this is why they say people buy with emotion, they don't buy with logic, or they buy with emotion but then they justify it through logic. What they're talking about is that they buy through feelings. And so why pre-framing works and why selling through auto-suggestion works is because auto-suggestion is attached to your subconscious. Subconscious is actually what makes you move. It's that internal gut feeling that it talks to. Does that make sense? So when you're naturally doing something, you don't realize it, it's because your subconscious is driving. You see, our conscious is what, what we use to do math, is what we use to do you know, common sense ac actions. But, but if you sell through logic, you're selling through common sense. Where if you can convert your selling method to sell to the subconscious, and that's by way of selling through the feelings and through the senses of fear or love or scarcity or fear of missing out, right? or status, this, the, that's more powerful to sell. And that may be the reason why you're losing sales is because you're completely bypassing that part. You're just more focused on rate and fees. And that's a good example to use because you're, it's your subconscious that's actually giving off that, that vibe. And so your subconscious may not be confident. And because you're not confident internally, your tonality and your thoughts are not about serving. They're more internally focused. So your subconscious is in defense, but you don't realize it. Because, because your subconscious is actually what, what gives off body language. Your subconscious is actually what sets your tonality, like the tone that you use. And it, and it, and it puts you inside this, this, this energy, energetic state that anyone can feel. Have you ever been by somebody or around somebody who you could tell they're not in a good mood? It's because they're subconscious. They're, they're emitting that type of energy. And we're all humans. We can all read this. This is all frequency. So pay attention to those first two because that could be very well the reasons why you're not making any sales today. And then finally, the third. The third is the absolute most important. And, it's gonna, and you're going to be like, yo, deep man, I know that, bro. But the third is, is always right below our nose and it's discipline. It, without the right discipline, you're not going to be able to implement the first two. Without the right discipline, you're going to listen to your, your conscious mind of not wanting to do certain things. You're going to allow reasons and excuses like all those that I listed out before to become your anchor. Like, oh, it's because of the market or oh, it's because of the leads or oh, it's because of my manager. Or, oh, it's because this person doesn't want to pay the rate or fee. You need discipline in order to develop the right mindset so that those, in, those external influences do not stop you from getting what it is you want. In the same breath, you need discipline to keep pushing you so that you can break past those barriers and excuses so that you can get what you want. You see, I talk about a lot of the science of closing and I wonder if it really resonates with you and if you actually do extract if not one if not two all three pieces of gold to actually implement into your day-to-day -day life not just your career not just creating sales but also to develop the right mindset to be the person that you're trying to be and I only hope that person is better than the person you were the day before so I hope you enjoy this video my friends please like comment and subscribe hit the bell and share this video with someone who needs to understand these three core principles every single wednesday and today's monday every single i'm sorry every single thursday i uh, i do a live training session on both facebook and youtube and i invite you to check out my other social media platforms i'll leave links below this video and set a reminder when you see the notice, you know, and you're only going to get notified if you receive emails from me. If you don't receive emails from me, you know, I invite you to check out the free sales script that I give at salesremaster.com. At the very bottom of the website, there's a, a sales script that's going to teach you how to do inbound and outbound. That's powerful stuff because there's a lot of people that just simply don't know where to start. And this free tool that I give for you or to you that you could download on your personal email, not your work email. Your work email is going to kick it back. Your personal email. 
Go to salesyourmaster.com, request a free copy, I'll give it to you today, and you can start implementing not only the three core principles, but that solid sales script that's gonna help you dismantle the guard of the people you engage with so you can get straight through to their subconscious. And anyway, on Thursdays, I do a half hour, 30 minute live training, live uh, session on both YouTube and Facebook, and I invite you to join me. Not only that, but I invite you to invite your, your team, your cubicle mate, your work buddies, and go lock up yourself up in a conference, turn it on, and watch the content being given because that in itself is going to be your way to unlock more production. And with that more production comes more confidence. And with that more confidence comes more happiness. And with that more happiness comes more certainty. And with all that good stuff comes more income. And I know that's exactly what we're trying to do is generate more income so we can provide for ourselves and our family. So let's go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My team came from the bottom on the rise, yeah God, please don't get me lost in this ride, yeah Went to sleep, I had a dream of that fish, girl Woke up and put it right on the street at retail